now let's continue our discussion upon uh, Hadoop uh, distributed file system and uh, the topic what we are going to discuss now is uh, Hadoop file systems so among this uh, we have some file systems uh, present in Hadoop uh, so the Hadoop file systems consist of uh, the file system such as local uh, HDFS, Web HDFS, uh, Secure Web HDFS, HAR, VO uh, then FTP, S3, SU, Swift and so on so there are many being additions also being done uh, before uh, taking this particular uh, uh, textbook uh, so for the references I have just made use of this so let us see how these are being implemented using the URI so for the local we make use of just a uh, file and uh, while making use of the implementation in Java we use file system which is a command dot local file system so which uh, captures or accesses the local file system so HDFS uh, and the URI is HDFS uh, we have HTTP uh, colon double slash or uh, local host then we have the HDFS so that is nothing but the URI so to call anything which is present inside the HDFS then we go for a Java implementation using HDFS dot distributed file system then for uh, web oriented uh, uh, Hadoop distributed file system we use the URI uh, web HDFS with uh, HDFS dot web dot uh, H web HDFS file system which is a Java implementation similarly for uh, secure web HDFS uh, we make use of S web HDFS uh, which is using uh, HDFS dot web dot S web HDFS file system so similarly we use HAR which is uh, uh, Hadoop file system archive file so for that we use uh, FS dot HAR file system which is a Java implementation similarly we use the view file system and uh, we use uh, FTP which is nothing but file transfer protocol we use the URI as FTP and for implementation we use FS dot FTP dot FTP file system and we use something called as S3 and we use S3A uh, for uh, URI and the implementation in Java is something like fs.s3a.s3a dot, dot, uh, file system and uh, the Microsoft Azure we use WASP as a URI and the uh, uh, Java implementation for this is fs.azure.native Azure file system similarly we use Swift uh, the URI is Swift then the Java implementation is fs dot swift dot s native dot swift native file system so these are some of the file systems being used inside the Hadoop so the next thing uh, what we are going to discuss is interfaces which is a very very important uh, because through this only we are going to communicate through to the uh, Hadoop file system so normally by default a Java uh, is the main important language which is making use of uh, implementation and interactions uh, in uh, inside the Hadoop file system so the Java API is the most commonly used in HDFS uh, but along with this so there are many other clients as well which make use of some other uh, APIs for working with the um, Hadoop file system so uh, let us go with uh, one by one so the Java interface which is, uh, Hadoop uses distributed file system for uh, file system class for interaction and file system class for implementation so for interaction in the sense for uh, reading the data for querying the data it uses distributed file system and for implementation or for writing the data and everything we make use of the file system class present inside the Java interface API so uh, how to read the things from uh, Hadoop URL so this is just one small uh, example code of how we are going to read the data from Hadoop URL using the java.net.url object so we just make use of the stream to read the data from the Hadoop URL so the general uh, syntax is something like this so input stream in equals to null so this is the class in java.io and we are making use of the exception handling mechanism using try and catch box then we are using the in object to read the HDFS colon host and whatever is the host and what is the path of this and 
we save the stream whatever is there present inside that HDFS file system into the input streams object and finally we can process the object whatever we have read so in the finally block we make use of io utilities dot close stream so in the try block if i have any errors then i will handle them inside the catch block and uh, since i need to close this particular stream i make use of the finally block then next uh, we have the http interface so for working with the http interface we make use of the http rest api which is exposed by the web hdfs protocol and which makes it easier for the other, lang other languages to interact with the uh, hdfs so the rest api is uh, most of the times used because hdfs uh, file system is the distributed file system and uh, making use of the http which is a web interface which makes easier for the clients to work with the uh, hdfs uh, system so um, there are two ways of accessing hdfs over http so first is directly and the other is by making use of a proxy or proxy service so directly where the hdfs uh, demands serve http request to clients so directly we are just trying to make use of the hdfs on uh, name nodes or clusters directly we are trying to make use of them uh, where we don't have any uh, mediator in between so we are accessing directly and by a proxy we have the proxy servers where we are you have where we have to follow some rules and regulations to uh, have the access to that particular uh, file or uh, data whatever we are trying to have the access uh, so there we make use of distributed file system api so how it looks like so in the direct access the client is having direct access to the name node or the data node whereas when we are making use of the proxies or the indirect uh, access then we see that we are making use of the clients and making use of the hdfs proxy they are having the access to name node data node and so on so here the hdfs proxy maintains some rules and regulations for each one of the client to have the access towards the data and every data is being uh, is being uh, served by making use of a remote procedure called request so in the first case the embedded web servers in the name node and data nodes act as, act as web hdfs endpoints and uh, in the second case the proxies are making use of the uh, rules and regulations of something like bandwidth limiting policies or some other policies whatever that particular uh, proxy is having so next language what we are going to see is uh, c programming and uh, hadoop provides a c library called as lib hdfs which mirrors the java file system interface so we know that java is also making use of some of the native uh, c programming language in the backend so here also we make use of the java's uh, file system interface called as lib hdfs which mirrors the java file system so the c api is very similar to java one but it typically lacks the java because uh, we know that uh, java is the advanced version and c is the old version so some uh, newer features may not be supported inside the C language. So it is a drawback by making use of the C language. So there is one more called as uh, NFS, where uh, which is nothing but network file system. So here the local client's file system using Hadoop NFS v3 gateway. So uh, the local clients use this particular NFS v3 gateway for having the access towards the name node and the data nodes then uh, next uh, nfs may also make use of some unix utilities and uh, uh, the unix utilities uh, something like ls and so on whatever op unix operating system has the commands all those commands can be used in uh, unix utilities so there is also an option for uploading the files using the nfs and it, is, it can also make use of the posix libraries to access the file system in the hdfs so the next uh, interface is called as fuse which is nothing but file system in user space allows the file systems that are implemented in user space to be integrated as unix file systems so the unix file systems can be integrated into the hdfs by making use of the interface called as fuse so hadoop's fuse distributed file system contribute uh, that is the uh, 
fuse dfs or fuse dfs contrib module allows hdfs to be mounted as a standard local file system by making use of this fuse interface